September 21st, 1993, Moscow. The Sula writes, Lord, I ask if it is possible for you to dictate to me a consecration to the two hearts, since you asked me to tell the Russians to consecrate their country to your two hearts. Will you, Lord, do this, so that I may send it to them? The Lord speaks. My child, hesitant, the footnote reads, I had hesitated to ask him. Hesitant, you must not be with me. Yes, wholeheartedly, I shall give you one. Right. Designated in the prophecies of your word, O Lord, we know, we trust and we believe that the triumph of your sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary is in the near future. Therefore, we humbly come to consecrate ourselves, our families and our country to your two sacred hearts. We believe that in consecrating our country to you, nation will not lift sword against nation and there will be no more training for war. We believe that in consecrating our country to your two loving hearts, all human pride and arrogance, all godlessness and hardening of the heart be effaced, and that every evil will be replaced with love and good things. We believe that your two holy hearts will not resist our sighs now and our needs, but in their loving flame will hear us and come to us to heal our deep wounds and bring us deep peace. O sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary, blow on us a spark from your two hearts to flare up our heart. Make out of our nation the perfect dwelling place of your holiness. Abide in us and we in you so that through the love of your two hearts we may find peace, unity and conversion. Amen. Vasula of my passion, I am with you, unique, almighty, steadfast, faithful and true. The Amen is accompanying you. Hear me. Scepters and thrones have never impressed me. This is why wisdom favours the poor and the uninstructed. By means of your nothingness, my holy countenance shall be revealed. I will leave an everlasting memory to those I have willingly revealed myself. The footnote reads, When Jesus effaces me and reveals himself during meetings or encounters. I will show myself to your society. I shall not conceal that I am is the author of true life in God. This, the footnote reads, the fact that he shows himself appearing, this too is a gift from the Most High. And you, my child, honour me, your God, by going to the assemblies without fear, to display my greatness. Utter the prophecies that I myself have given you by my command, and I shall let them reach the four corners of the earth like lightning. Be generous in giving me your time, and go where help is needed. Never show partiality. Go now in faith, and be a witness forever. I, the Lord, the Holy One, will converse with you always in this way too. The footnote reads, When Jesus added after, in this way too, it was because I hesitated, not understanding whether his conversation will be only op be orally or also by written form. The Lord says, Yes, come.